Hi, my name is Stephanie, and I uh, am a behavioral consultant uh, for dogs, mostly. I've also worked with cats and actually a donkey. Um, you'll see that in videos and YouTube. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to um, share information that I have, uh, you know, learned over the last 30 years in doing this with anyone who cares to listen. Uh, so let's start with the brain of a dog. All right, dogs have um, same parts as we do, except they are uh, like the frontal lobe is much smaller, the executive brain. The back is larger, and pretty much where dogs go, that's their go to brain. That's where they live, that's where they function from uh, limbic system, uh, instinct, and emotion. Just think instinct and emotion. That is their world. And they're also uh, about the emotional capability of a two-year-old child, although dogs, animals, do not have pride and ego as we humans do. That's exclusively ours. We are um, the only ones that have that pride and ego thing going on, which causes all the problems. So these guys are basically innocent in that way. They do stuff because they do stuff. They don't have plans. They don't uh, ponder the past or the future, uh, but they're not uh, ignorant of it. Let's say like if uh, something happens to a dog when they're very young, it could um, tra traumatize them. They could have flashbacks if something similar triggers it, those types of things. But they don't sit around pondering it until it happens. So, And pride and ego... They're not trying to take over. I always joke that that's the cats, but that's not true either. Cats are um, same, you know, they have that uh, animal brain of emotion and instinct. So, but talking about dogs, we we're going to talk mostly about dogs here, pretty much exclusively about dogs. Uh, they are um, social. They are social creatures. They have two things in life they want. They want food and they want social interaction. Now, social interaction can be with other dogs, people. It could be touch. It could be uh, play, um, again, with dogs or other people. So even just eye contact is social interaction. And that is why, jumping ahead here, haha, no pun intended, when a dog jumps, if you look down at the dog, even though you're not talking, your eyes are saying yes, 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 even though your mouth is saying either no, 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 or nothing at all. Your eyes are still speaking, so you want to lift up your chin so that they're seeing underneath and move your hands out of the way. Just get them up here so, or in your pockets, you know, so that the dog isn't coming up and mouthing your hand because obviously they'll do that to get your attention. And if you respond, well they are going to do it again. And that is the big rule. If you um, respond to a behavior, you will get more of that behavior. Simple thing. It's pretty much straightforward with dogs. You don't respond to a behavior, whatever it may be, you will get, as a rule, less of that behavior or that behavior may hopefully go extinct if you don't want it it'll go away eventually um, and it all depends on the context the behavior um, you know you can't just say blanket that that's true but there are a general category general rule that it is uh, for most of the things that we think of like barking, jumping, and all that. Although a lot of these things can be self-reinforcing. Uh, so a dog is barking, it could be self-reinforcing. They could be barking because they're excited and they're happy. Um, they might be barking at something they hear, barking at something they see. Uh, you know, there's you know a lot of reasons for that. Jumping is one that is pretty straightforward as a rule. And even that one has a few things like dogs jump because they're happy. Uh, they want to get to your face. They they like um, 
the in dog world, uh, dogs you see dogs jump up like little puppies will jump up and lick their mother's mouths. Or one dog that is really like a real ah, dog will go to another dog and lick their face. It's an appeasement thing. Also, with puppies, they want to get to the mother's mouth and they'll stick their tongue down her throat to help her to vomit. Because um, in the wild, the dog mom would eat and then come home vomit, and the babies would eat. I know it's gross, but that's what they do. So. You have this behavior of wanting to get some face time. And there's a social thing. Again, that social thing. They want face time. That's why when you have your face down, you're online and you are inviting them into your space. And when you come up, you're offline and you're saying, sorry, not interested at this time. I'll be back later. Uh, and that is, you know, the message that they're getting. All right. So that's the whole thing about the face uh, and um, I think that's a good place to stop for now because this is just a, a little over five minutes and I want to um, I don't want to overwhelm or have somebody watching the video and it's droning on and on so I've already started droning so alright I'm gonna stop right there and come back and see my next video